and welcome back to the Turdford channel. Hey, today's video is actually a graphing tutorial video, and we're going to actually do several different types of graphs. This video is going to be on doing a linear graph, so when you have graph paper that looks nice and normal like this, uh, we're going to also do uh, videos on the following. This is a piece of semi-log paper. Actually, this is two-cycle semi-log paper. And this is actually a piece of log log paper, and we'll do a separate video on each one of those. So, but right now, let's go straight into what this linear graph should look like. And I've got a sample of data here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit, and we can look at it a little bit better. So I've got a sample of data taken from what's known as a Hooke's Law lab. Hooke's Law is where you've taken a spring, and this is a very common lab, you put like a little weight hanger onto the spring, and then you add weights on top of the spring, on top of the hanger. And as you do this, you establish like some zero line, and then you elongate. You stretch out the spring, and that is this X. Uh, there's actually set of instructions on this that tell us exactly what to do. It's telling me to make a graph. And it says to establish F on the y-axis in newtons. And then it says to put X on the x-axis in meters. And the reason why it does that is this. The general equation for line, Y equals MX plus B. Well, let's look at this. We're going to put F on the y-axis, X on the X. And what's cool is this. When we find this slope of this graph, that slope will actually be k. So this is just how the equation, that is Hooke's Law, f equals kx, is known as Hooke's Law. And all we're doing is getting it to fit this equation for a line. So let's go and take this data. I've already copied it down on another sheet of paper for me. And I'm going to go through and graph this data here. All right, first thing we're going to have to do is I'm going to have to unzoom this page down to like 75% so I can see the entire page at once on the screen. If you're on an iPhone, this is going to suck probably. Anyway, uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead, and it's going to take me a second to get my line the way I want it. I'd like red, please. Well, thank you very much. And I'm going to do some. The first thing you should do on any graph is make your axis. Now, you need to use a ruler as you do this. And your axis, you need to take, in this case, I've got like my fifth line over is very bold. You need to make a very nice bold line on your graph. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go up to my first bold line up on my graph and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And you should always do this. I, back in college, I used to always keep a Sharpie for making these axes. The thing you don't want to do, I know very few teachers or professors that would want you to do this and make the edge of your graph paper an axis like that. That's usually frowned upon because a lot of times some good information comes from over in here. So we've established our axes, and now let's do something. We need to label these axes. So over on this side, I'm going to call this, I'm trying to write really big so that it shows up. That's going to be F measured in newtons and across the bottom is x and it's supposed to be measured in meters now somebody might be looking at this going you're writing on the graph hey it's okay to write on the graph paper up at the top of the graph paper we should also have something up here we should title this graph so here at the top i will call it hook's law and now I'll also title the lab, and I'll title what's a graph of, and it's a graph of F in newtons versus X in meters. So I'll make that, and then over here, Turd Ferg, I run out of room. How about this? We'll just go with the last name. Should always have like a date and everything in your graph, so we'll go Ferg. And it is 5, 17 of 16. Anyway, you get the idea. Name and date should be over in here. Now we need to go through and actually make uh, this. We need to number off our graph. Geez, sorry, it's taking me so hard to say this. And I'm going to, have to zoom back in again so you can see this data a little better. Let's zoom it way in, like 200%. There's a good look at this data. 
So looking at this data, let's see what we kind of numbers we need here. So the y-axis, we need to at least to go, we need to be able to go from 0 to 3 on the y-axis as best we can. And essentially we need to go from 0 to what looks like about 20 on the x-axis. Now this actually has this in centimeters, so we'll have to make an adjustment for that. I think it actually wants us to graph it in meters. That's okay. It's just going to be moving a decimal, so we're going to move it 0 to 0.2. Alright, so let's go back and let's try and label off this graph now. And I'm going to leave myself zoomed in for a second on the graph. See if I can zoom. There's Fn. Let's see if we can figure out what to make these lines. Because the thing is, I want to use as much of the graph paper as possible. So left to right, I wanted to try and get 18 was my biggest number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I wanted to make each one of these like 0.1. I'm not going to be able to. So let's do something here. I need to get basically, let's see, or if, instead of making these like, I got an idea. Instead of, let's go by 0.2s. So I'm going to make this 0.02, 0 0.04, 0 0.06, 0.07, 0.08, 0.09, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19, 0.20, 0.21, 0.22, 0.23, 0.24, 0.25, 0.26, 0.27, 0.28, 0.29, 0.30, 0.31, 0.32, 0.33, 0.34, 0.35, 0.36, 0.37, 0.38, 0.39, 0.40, 0.41, 0.42, 0.43, 0.44, 0.45, 0.46, 0.47, 0.48, 0.49, 0.50, 0.51, 0.52, 0.53, 0.54, 0.55, 0.56, 0.57, 0.58, 0.59, 0.60, 0.61, 0.62, 0.63, 0.64, 0.65, 0.66, 0.67, 0.68, 0.69, 0.70, 0.71, 0.72, 0.73, 0.74, 0.75, 0.76, 0.77, 0.78, 0.79, 0.80, 0.81, 0.82, 0.83, 0.84, 0.85, 0.86, 0.87, 0.88, 0.89, 0.90, 0.91, 0.92, 0.93, 0.94, 0.95, 0.96, 0.97, 0.98, 0.99, 0.100, 0.101, 0.102, 0.103, 0.104, 0.105, 0.106, 0.107, 0.108, 0.109, 0.110, 0.111, 0.112, 0.113, 0.114, 0.115, 0.116, 0.117, 0.118, 0.119, 0.120, 0.121, 0.122, 0.123, 0.124, 0.125, 0.126, 0.127, 0.128, 0.129, 0.130, 0.131, 0.132, 0.133, 0.134, 0.135, 0.136, 0.137, 0.138, 0.139, 0.140, 0.151, 0.152, 0.153, 0.154, 0.155, 0.156, 0.157, 0.158, 0.159, 0.160, 0.171, 0.172, 0.173, 0.174, 0.175, 0.176, 0.177, 0.178, 0.179, 0.180, 0.181, 0.182, 0.183, 0.184, 0.185, 0.186, 0.187, 0.188, 0.189, 0.190, 0.191, 0.192, 0.193, 0.194, 0.195, 0.196, 0.197, 0.198, 0.199, 0.200, 0.201, 0.202, 0.203, 0.204, 0.205, 0.206, 0.207, 0.208, 0.209, 0.210, 0.211, 0.212, 0.213, 0.214, 0.215, 0.216, 0.217, 0.218, 0.219, 0.220, 0.221, 0.222, 0.223, 0.224, 0.225, 0.226, 0.227, 0.228, 0.229, 0.230, 0.231, 0.232, 0.233, 0.234, 0.235, 0.236, 0.237, 0.238, 0.239, 0.240, 0.241, 0.242, 0.243, 0.244, 0.245, 0.246, 0.247, 0.248, 0.249, 0.250, 0.251, 0.252, 0.253, 0.254, 0.255, 0.256, 0.257, 0.258, 0.259, 0.260, 0.271, 0.272, 0.273, 0.274, 0.275, 0.276, 0.277, 0.278, 0.279, 0.280, 0.291, 0.292, 0.293, 0.294, 0.295, 0.296, 0.297, 0.298, 0.299, 0.300, 0.301, 0.302, 0.303, 0.304, 0.305, 0.306, 0.307, 0.308, 0.309, 0.310, 0.311, 0.312, 0.313, 0.314, 0.315, 0.316, 0.317, 0.318, 0.319, 0.320, 0.321, 0.322, 0.323, 0.324, 0.325, 0.326, 0.327, 0.328, 0.329, 0.330, 0.331, 0.332, 0.333, 0.334, 0.335, 0.336, 0.337, 0.338, 0.339, 0.440, 0.441, 0.442, 0.443, 0.444, 0.445, 0.446, 0.447, 0.448, 0.449, 0.450, 0.451, 0.452, 0.453, 0.454, 0.455, 0.456, 0.457, 0.458, 0.459, 0.460, 0.471, 0.472, 0.473, 0.474, 0.475, 0.476, 0.478, 0.479, 0.480, 0.491, 0.492, 0.493, 0.494, 0.495, 0.496, 0.497, 0.498, 0.499, 0.500, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.508, 0.509, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.556, 0.557, 0.558, 0.559, 0.560, 0.570, 0.571, 0.572, 0.573, 0.574, 0.575, 0.576, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.537, 0.538, 0.539, 0.540, 0.541, 0.542, 0.543, 0.544, 0.545, 0.546, 0.547, 0.548, 0.549, 0.550, 0.551, 0.552, 0.553, 0.554, 0.555, 0.566, 0.577, 0.578, 0.579, 0.580, 0.581, 0.582, 0.583, 0.584, 0.585, 0.596, 0.597, 0.598, 0.510, 0.511, 0.512, 0.513, 0.514, 0.515, 0.516, 0.517, 0.518, 0.519, 0.520, 0.521, 0.522, 0.523, 0.524, 0.525, 0.526, 0.527, 0.528, 0.529, 0.530, 0.531, 0.532, 0.533, 0.534, 0.535, 0.536, 0.
So yeah, that would mean that each line, in individual line, is zero, zero, four going to the right. So let's see if we can't plot these data points now. So I'm going to go up four nine. So that means count with me. That first that would be four. Get rid of that. That would be that one would be four four. That would be four eight. So that means the line I want 4, 9 is just right right there. I mean, it's just right above that point. And now I need to go over, I need to go over 0, 2, 9 from there. Well, let's see. That would be, and I'm going to be working in here. That would be 0, 2 right there. So that would be 0, 2, 4. 028, 029 would be just a shade past it. So now, and I shouldn't have erased that, I just lost my numbers. 02, 024, 028. So my actually dash needs to be. And this is the thing about a graph. That is all you should have on your graph. You should just make, when you do your little spots, they should just be like I, you see me making these little divots across the screen. They need to be kind of small little data points marked across your screen. Now, what I'm actually going to do is go through and take the rest of my data, and I'm going to fill this in. I don't think you should have to watch me do any more of this. And then we'll come back and we'll finish the... All right, so I've come through and I've finished putting all the dots across my graph now, and I've zoomed out, and that's what you should have. These are your data points, and I've made them like really big on here because I want them to show up better on this video. I'm going to go back and do a little erasing down here and clean up some of the stuff I did at the bottom of the video. All right, so I wish I wouldn't erase that, my little numbers at the bottom. Anyway, so I've got my graph laid out. Next thing to do, this is what's known as a best fit line. I don't know if you've heard your teacher use that word before, a best fit line. But actually what it means is we need to get a ruler out. And what you're going to do, I've got a very little ruler for whatever reason. I'll see if I can't work on that. You need to lay your ruler down. And if you watch any other videos or graph and you've seen this, you need to lay the ruler down in such a way that your ruler, it doesn't actually have to touch any of these dots. And for goodness sakes, whatever you do, don't connect the dots. But lay your ruler down in such a way that the ruler goes through the middle of the dots as best you can. Now, your ruler actually doesn't have to hit like zero, zero down here at the bottom, but it needs to best run through those. Now, this is also important. When you've laid that ruler down so that it best fits the data, take your pen or pencil and draw your line all the way across the ruler. It needs to be a straight line, and wow, mine is not. My ruler has failed me, apparently. Let's see if I can do a better job. There it goes. That's a it. digital. It's supposed to track across the page. Now, I want you to look at this line that I just drew across the page. Let's get rid of this ruler. Don't need it anymore. Uh, delete. I don't need you. Look at my line. It actually runs literally off the graph paper. This is okay. Uh, notice how some of the dots are a little to the left of the line and some of them are below. That's fine. This is a pretty good looking line for a graph. Now, let's go through and find the slope on this. And to do that, we're going to have to zoom back in pretty good on the graph. Let's go back to like 200%. What I'm looking for is to find a graphing point here, a slope point. Whatever you do, stay away from these data points. If you pick one of those, your professor will probably give you a zero for this thing. I want to find a place, though, where the line I just drew perfectly intersects like, bam, right there. That's my spot. I want to find a spot where that perfectly gets cut by my graph. And what I do, I'm going to find it and I'm going to circle it. And now I'm going to label where it's at. So this is, I'm going to write it like this, x1, comma, y1. So where is this x? Well, I said every line is 0, 0, 4. So there's 0, 4. So this would be 0, 4, 4. I left my 0 out, didn't I? 
see if I can get that back in there, point zero four four comma y how far up is this zero so there's point six six four six eight so that spot is seven two point seven two and I'm hearing talking and it made me mess up in the background point seven to up. Now I need to do something. Now a lot of times a teacher don't want you like to pick another one like right here, but the reality is it really shouldn't matter. If this is a good line, it shouldn't matter where I pick these points. They should, oh, I don't want to do that. I just moved my graph on the paper. All right, so I'm going to scroll up and see if I can't find another spot along here that does that. And uh, right here, I've got my mouse on it or had it right there. So let's come back and see if I can't do the same thing. I'm going to put me a little crosshair across there and pick that point. Now, some people will do this. They will pick a spot that's not perfect like this because people like bold lines. So then they'll come through and they'll make like this huge gigantic blob like that and be like, look, it's perfect. Do not do that. If your professor's any good, he's going to can you for that. Uh, let's figure out where this is. This is going to be my x2, comma, y2 location up here. Uh, let's see. x2. Where is that line? Uh, 1, 1, 1, 4. That'd be 1, 8. Am I correct? Oh, that's 1, 0. Excuse me. 1, 0, 4, 1, 0, 8. So this would be point one zero eight over... And it would be one six four six 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 eight. Where no, I'm losing track. That'd be six four. Good grief. Six eight seven two seven six. So this would be one point seven six up. So we found our two graph points, and luckily I can see them both. Because now what I'm going to do is find my slope. To find slope, I'll just call M. We're going to do rise over run, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And yes, I'm writing on my graph paper, and you can do that. It's okay to do. Matter of fact, I would want it done on your graph paper. Now just fill this in, 1.76 minus 0.72 divided by x2, which was 0.108 minus 0 0.044 and all I have to do now is feed that into a calculator and I will be good to go so I can put it all in at once too 1.76 minus 0 0.72 and that is all over 0 0.108 minus 0 0.044 and I've got a slope of 16.25 Which means y equals, changes to blue. Sometimes your teacher will want you to write this regression on your graph. Which means f equals kx is the formula that we fitted to this graph. Therefore, k is, now, the only thing somebody might could gripe at me for is I did not put any units on here. Uh, my rise over run, if you remember, my y was actually being measured in newtons. And then we had to convert all our x's to meters before we graph. So that means that my unit is actually a newton slash meter, which is very good in what it should be for this graph. So anyway, that should have you in pretty good shape on how to do a linear graph, although it took 20 minutes. But anyway, uh, peace out, deuces, and love you. Love you.